j of x, y, i after y inverse at the point y of p. Now we see, in order to calculate those objects, we have to know what the inverse of the coordinate map y is. So let's calculate it. This would just be a system of equations where y1 of a, b equals a, and y2 of a, b equals b plus a cube. This we can invert, and here we can use the first equation to write b plus a cube as just y1 cube, so y1 of a, b cube. So we calculated the inverse map, y inverse of two numbers, u, b, will just be the first number again, and the second number minus the first number to the power of 3, so v minus u, cube. And we already know what x after y inverse does with two numbers because x is just the identity map. So again, you get u and v minus minus u. Now we can calculate these four options separately. We can start with del x1 over del y1 p. This is del1 of x1 after y inverse at the point y of p. So del1 of x1 after y inverse means we have to differentiate this function, which just gives u with respect to the first entry, here u, which is the respect of this point. Lambda, minus lambda, plus lambda cube. Again, lambda, minus. 